Hello and welcome back to Essential Excel. Today's video is a, a quick tip, uh, even though we are looking at some functions. Although, most importantly, this will hopefully serve as a reference video going forwards as we step into some more advanced formulas and functions. Uh, I won't get too caught up in that now, but when that time comes, it will hopefully make sense. Uh, these are two formulas um, that are very useful, uh, and although they might not give uh, a great uh, amount of return used on their own, uh, they will actually give you some um, good detail that you can start using as of today. Those two formulas are the first is length and the second is trim. Uh, length allows us to count the number of characters that are contained within a uh, cell's value and therefore give us the length of the string in that in that value. Um, Again, it's, it's really good, it's useful for understanding if you're trying to do a, a quick summary across your data to understand if one cell contains a lot more characters than the other. Uh, it's good again for data validation, and like I mentioned, when we get into some more advanced formulas, it's particularly useful for that as well. Uh, the second is trim, and um, trim allows us to literally trim off um, information that we don't require. So an example of this could be where text has been entered incorrectly, and you're most likely seeing where we have spaces added at the, added at the end of text, what we don't need. Um, so trim allows us to remove that, um, and it's worth noting that if the space or anything was at the beginning of the word, also trim will work the same way as if it was at the end. Um, particularly useful for formatting text and making sure things in the fo same format. And also going back to down the line, when we start using um, formulas that are dependent on a text uh, cell's value. An example could be like VLOOKUP. So if you're trying to do a VLOOKUP based on a word, uh, but that word has a space at the beginning, um, that would cause the, uh, the calculation to not work properly. So this is where trim can be used to just ensure that the text is in the format it needs to be. So let's look at the quick, quick couple of examples. So in column B, uh, you'll see the yellow boxes in which we're going to put our formula. So what we're gonna do here is use length, so all we need to do is enter our length equal sign and then type in len to get the length function. Once we've done that, all we need to do is select the cell which contains the value we want to get the length from, close our brackets and hit enter. And as you can see, it gives us the value of five in this example because the word mouse contains five characters, uh, one, two, three, four, and five being the E. If I was to copy that down, that same formula, you can see how that count then obviously differentiates across the different words. So car obviously being a lot less with only just the three characters in there. So the second formula we're looking at is trim. And just before we get onto trim, we'll quickly look at the examples that we've brought in over here in column E. What is pretty much it is just the first two we have from the example over in column A from these two words of mouse and tree. So what we've done, and if I just click click into mouse, you'll see we've entered a space at the beginning or at the end of the word mouse, and then what this space does is it actually creates an additional character. So the space um, acts as a character, and we've done that into tree as well. And it's worth noting now that whether this is at the beginning or the end, the following example would work exactly the same. So to show how trim works, we're going to just use our length formula one more time. So if we bring in length and select the cell reference v2, you can see for the two of these, we've now got that additional character being that space. So if we compare in column B, we can see mouse and tree was respectively five and four characters. It's now six and five. So what we're going to do in column G is enter our trim formula. Well, it's very simple. Enter equals followed by trim for trim. Open brackets. And this time select the word uh, mouse in this case, or the value in column E, and we'll hit enter. And then what we'll do is just pull that formula down so that we have it for both of those um, in both rows two and three for mouse and tree. So what that's now done is it's removed the space that was appearing at the end of both of those pieces, um, both of those text values or strings. So what we can do in our length two, we can now just do another length formula based on this uh, value in column G close brackets, and you can see we're now back to the correct numbers that should be of five and four. So you can see with the space in there, it was a six and five. This was incorrect, and we therefore need to use trim to make sure that there's no spaces um, 
not corrupting, but causing issues with that text. And that's what we've done in column G, use trim to remove those spaces. And we can see having done that, uh, that the value is, or the, the length, or the number of characters within that cell value for mouse is now back correct where it should be. Okay, so as mentioned, that was quite a short video. Um, do believe though that these two formulas and functions used on their own will again bring great use to your work. Um, again, this is one worth um, remembering because as we move forwards, uh, this will be a great video to reference back to if you need a refresher on how to use either of these two formulas. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, it'd be greatly appreciated. Also, if you have any questions or just want to leave us a comment to let us know how you're getting on, do, do drop a comment below this video. Uh, alternatively, we've got our Facebook page. The link is in the description should you want to reach out to us there instead. Okay, thank you very much and we'll see you soon.